there is no doubt that PrEP, when taken as directed, is effective at preventing HIV. We've seen dramatic declines in HIV diagnoses around the world in communities that have high uptake of PrEP. However, concerns are often raised about PrEP's impact on STIs. And it's certainly true that in recent years, we have seen steep increases in the rates of diagnosed syphilis, gonorrhea, and chlamydia. This could have many causes, including other changes we've seen in sexual behavior linked to dating apps and chemsex, for example. But is there an independent effect of PrEP on STIs? Well, first we have to acknowledge that the increase in STIs did not begin when people started using PrEP. The increase in STIs started in the US and the UK and much of Western Europe when people stopped dying of AIDS. Syphilis, which had all but vanished in the 1990s, resurged, particularly among gay and bisexual men on both sides of the Atlantic just after 2000, a couple of years after the introduction of effective HIV treatment. Although it's clear that PrEP uptake alone hasn't increased STIs, studies do show that people have more STIs diagnoses in the months after starting PrEP than they did beforehand. Closer analysis of these studies suggests that it's not STI infections that increase significantly among new PrEP users, but STI detection. People on PrEP have regular tests for STIs and HIV. As we test more often, and test in all the necessary places, we get better at finding STIs. PrEP is effective at preventing HIV, and it is also a catalyst for engagement in sexual health. PrEP can encourage people to go into their clinic the earlier we can diagnose STIs, the faster we can treat them, meaning the opportunities for future transmission are reduced. You can find out more about PrEP and STIs on the AIDS MAP site.